Hey everyone, Austin here at The Real Seal, back for another Shop Talk video to talk to you about pier and beam foundation repair. What is a pier and beam foundation? A porch is a classic pier and beam foundation. Basically, it consists of two parts. A pier, which is usually a concrete pillar, drilled caissons, or even concrete blocks, and then a post So and beam. So basically, you've got your pier, your post, and your beam. So you'll see these a lot also on lake houses, those little cottages, houses that are on slopes that need piers to help hold them up, sometimes even transitioning from a solid foundation to the porch or to a pier and beam foundation. From a bird's eye view, you can see how they're usually laid out pretty symmetrically in a grid, and then you have beams go lengthwise, and then you have your subfloor and everything else built with your joists above that that help hold the house up. Typically, you'll get a couple of these that may end up sinking and settling into the ground. Maybe you added a little more weight up here than they were designed to hold, especially you move a gun safe in the house, build a new kitchen. You can end up putting a lot more strain on one of these piers than the others, and they can start to sink and settle, where you'll see a lot of the same foundation repair issues like drag, drywall cracking, brick cracking, windows not opening, that you would see in a normal foundation as well. When we go to repair these, basically we're talking about either replacing defective posts and beams, or we're talking about adding new posts and beams with their own footings. When we're talking about the center beam that holds the most weight of the home, we need concrete footing that also has rebar reinforcement in here. This is here so that it takes all this weight above and the weight from this post and it spreads it along the dirt beneath it. Two feet down gets us so that we don't have any freezing issues. And we actually have to dig that usually if we're doing this on an exterior application. So that two foot by two foot by two foot footing is four feet beneath the ground. That way we avoid the frost line. If we're dealing with lower weight situations and the lower weight ones are our supplemental beams that are on the sides and not on the middle, uh, we can actually use a footing pad and a bed of gravel as the footing, as this isn't supporting as much weight. So we can reduce that, which also reduces your cost to the customer, which is a fantastic benefit, especially coming along Christmas time here. So we can replace these less load bearing pier and beams with a footing pad with gravel and the heavier and the ones that create more tension and more pressure on those beams with a two foot by two foot by two foot footing post and then beam. All of our posts are three and a half inch steel piers that can hold up to 40,000 pounds. So they can hold a tremendous amount of weight and are able to help repair your foundation so that you can live in that home for years and decades to come. If you have any questions on pier and beam foundation repair or how it works, give us a call over at The Real Seal where you know not everything's better when wet.